Well, we want to turn to a second subject with you, uh, Reverend Jackson, um, and this is the issue of the controversy of politics and sports. Right. We want to turn to the continued controversy. On Sunday, Vi Vice President Mike Pence flew to Indianapolis, where he staged a walkout of an NFL game between the San Francisco 49ers and the Indianapolis Colts, after players on both teams held a protest against racial injustice during the national anthem. Pence tweeted, quote, I left today's Colts games because a POTUS and I will not dignify any event that disrespects our soldiers, our flag or our national anthem, at a time when so many Americans are inspiring our nation with their courage, resolve and resilience. Now more than ever, we should rally around our flag and everything that unites us. While everyone is entitled to their own opinions, I don't think it's too much to ask NFL players to respect the flag and our national anthem. Well, more than 20 members of the San Francisco 40 Niners knelt during the anthem, while Colts players stood with locked arms wearing shirts reading, We will stand for equality, justice, unity, respect, dialogue, opportunity. Afterward, several reports surface that Vice President Pence's decision to leave may have been pre-planned. NBC reporter Von Hilliard, traveling with the vice president's pool, tweeted, the media pool was kept in the vans ahead of the game instead of being led in with V. POTUS. As media pool has been made aware, a staffer told pool that V. POTUS, that's vice president of the United States, may depart the game early, did not indicate how early. Uh, Donald Trump took credit credit for Pence's action, tweeting, I ask VP Pence to leave stadium if any players kneel, disrespecting our country. I'm proud of him and Second Lady Karen. On Monday, Trump's presidential fundraising committee used the walkout in an email telling supporters, quote, immediately after the vice president's honorable display of leadership and patriotism, the fake news media relentlessly attacked him. Unquote. Well, meanwhile, the selfie that Pence tweeted of him and his wife saying he was looking forward to cheering Peyton Manning and the Colts was the same picture that was used in a tweet by then Indiana Governor Pence in November of 2014 when he tweeted, cheering on our Colts with First Lady N as they kick off the second half, go Colts, beat Jaguars. Well, San Francisco 49ers safety Eric Reed, who joined quarterback Colin Kaepernick's national anthem protest last year, referenced that photo on Sunday. With the information I have him tweeting a three-year-old photo, until until he can prove that he's been an avid Colts fan and he comes to NFL games on a regular basis, this is a PR play. My mother served in the armed forces. Three of my uncles served in the armed forces. In fact, my mom would have went to the Persian Gulf War had she not been pregnant with me. I have the utmost respect for the military, the anthem, and the flag. So I will say that every time y'all interview me, this is about systemic oppression that has been rampant in this country for decades, on top of decades. And I will continue to say and encourage people to educate themselves of how we got to where we are today, because it didn't happen overnight, and it's not going to happen overnight to fix these issues. Vice President Pence's brief visit to Indianapolis cost the public an estimated quarter of a million dollars after he traveled from Las Vegas to Indianapolis for this brief appearance at Lucas Oil Stadium, before flying back to a fundraising event in California. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, Trump tweeted, why is the NFL getting massive tax breaks while at the same time disrespecting our anthem flag and country? Change tax law. Well, for more, we continue our conversation with the Reverend Jesse Jackson. You know, Trump's issue is the flag. The player's issue is race discrimination. Uh, and this is not desecrating the flag, as in wearing flag on the wear, or burning the flag, as some have done, and found that they had the right to do that by the Constitution. This is not flag desecration. This is about using the symbol as a gesture. When my father came from World War II, he had to sit behind Nazi prisoners of war on American military bases. The flag was still flying. Uh, the, the, the Klan flies the, the, the American flag and the Confederate flag. Confederate flag is the protest against the American flag. Uh, Union soldiers were veterans, too. Uh, and justice is what the flag is, is, is to be about. 
I wanted to ask you, you, you yourself as a former uh, college football player, when you see the attacks now on these uh, African-American athletes saying these are multimillionaires, they're, uh, they're coddled, and uh, they have no right to be uh, engaging in this Most kind of Most of them go to schools where there's 6 to 8 percent black school population and 80 percent black football and basketball players. They are aware of apartheid on these campuses. They are aware that they are, they've gone from picking cotton balls to picking footballs, but not really growing. They are aware of that. And, and Trump's ch and Jerry Jones challenging their sense of dignity and manhood just accentuates it to a, another level. Uh, the uh, Kaepernick, does, uh, his, his, his right to have a job trial is being denied, his constitutional rights being challenged. The players are in the First Amendment. And so, really, Trump and Pence are protesting their right to exercise the First Amendment rights. Well, I want to turn to what the owners are going to do, from the NBA to the NFL. On Sunday, Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones clarified his position on players kneeling during the national anthem, stating, if there is anything that is disrespectful to the flag, then we will not play, period. Trump later tweeted in response, a big salute to Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys, who, with will bench players who disrespect our flag, stand for anthem or sit for game. Last month, Jones, along with members of the Dallas Cowboys, took a knee before the anthem in a statement of unity with players. The NBA also has now said, um, you know, I mean, Trump is really pushing this, that they, that players cannot take the knee. During the anthem, Trump the is, owners Trump, are going to meet later this the week owners, of the NFL. Okay, teams. Owners are threatening the players and challenging their sense of dignity, their sense of manhood, and these players are going to kneel as a protest in the lineage of Dr. King, in the lineage of man, in the lineage of their families that they come from, uh, and so I would hope Jerry Jones would not take a position so strong, such as so anti-American. He, he's otherwise a fairly decent guy. I've known him for a long time. I remember players he's helped. Bob Hayes, others after the playing days, he's a good guy. But now I think Trump has diverted the issue from racial justice to flag. And how can Trump take the lead on a on a on the patriotic flag test when in his time for war he he ran he is a dodge, draft dodger. You know <clears throat> the issue. You're a reverend. Um, we had Reverend mm. Barber on last week, and he talked about the mm. symbolic importance of taking a knee of the symbol of prayer. Dr. King, and you were with Dr. King in his last moments of breath, um, those images of him uh, in places like Birmingham taking the knee. It's not a—suppose it, it were a symbol of the burning, burning the flag, or desecrating the flag, or as some had, as it did, were, were flag underwear, to make another point. The attempt of kneeling in this, a nonviolent protest, should be met with embrace. Kurt Flood made a protest against the uh, owners owning players uh, when they tried to sell him. And that the, re the reason we have free agency today is Cliff Floyd, he took the test uh, of courage, he passed the test, he was kicked out of baseball. In some sense, Kaepernick, he's in the Ali, I have the right to change my name, not by the war tradition. He's in, in the lineage of Jackie Robinson, he's in, the, he's in the lineage of those athletes who, with a sense of dignity, non negotiable dignity, fought back. And I think that Colin, Colin Connick is a, is a martyr by virtue of his suffering, and he deserves the right, even now, to try out for teams. Okay. Uh, Harry uh, Edwards says he should be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize, Colin Kaepernick.